officially on strike. The union has been threatening to go on strike for more than a year, so many retailers and manufacturers were prepared. They brought in holiday season goods early or they've diverted their shipments to West Coast ports. The problem facing businesses right now is that however much they brought in, it can only last for so long. There are estimates that a strike could cost the US economy between $3.8 billion and $4.5 billion a day. Oh, wow. The dock workers say they want a 77% pay increase over the Jesus. next six years. Money they say they are owed for working during the pandemic and helping some of the world's largest ocean shipping companies earn profits of tens of billions of dollars. Some shipping industry officials say that a short strike should not be too disruptive. The problem for global supply chains is that if the strike continues for days or even weeks ahead, it would take far longer for the ports to dig out of the backlogs. That would cause massive disruption to global supply chains, which would raise freight costs and that in turn could lead to higher consumer prices and a resurgence in inflation. Hey, yo, we employers and carriers see that you're here supporting your international. There is no way that we are going to lose this fight. I promise you that. We will not lose this fight. Well, that, there you have it, folks. They are officially on strike, man. The crazy part about this is you heard them say that they've been threatened to strike for over a year. But a 77% increase over the next five years? Man, I can't even do the math on that, but... I think that's a that's a hell of a raise over the next five years. But I want to dig deeper into this. So let's look at what the union leader has to say. Are you worried that this strike is going to hurt the everyday American, the farmers that need to reach the, reach the export market? Listen, now you start to realize who the longshoremen are, right? Hey, nobody cares. People about never gave a shit about us until now, when they finally realized right. that the chain is being broke. Now, cars won't come in, food won't come in, clothing won't come in. You know how many people depend on our jobs? Half the world. And it's time for them and time for Washington to put so much pressure on them to take care of us because we took care of them and we're here 135 years and brought them where they are today and they don't want to share. Hey, bro standing on business and wearing 600 our glasses. That's crazy. Look at that jury. Just one question. Oh, here, you want to hear it? Five hours across the board for six years. Mm. All I want container. all my container royalty 50-50 split. It all comes back to the island where it used to be. What was the other one? I Absolutely no automation. automation. An automation, stronger language. To get me back to the table. If I don't get that, I'm not coming back to the table. And if we have to be out here a month or two months, this world will collapse. Go blame them. Don't blame me. Blame them. Bro standing on business. It's crazy because I just did some research earlier. I can't find it where I found it from, but if I find it, I'll make a post on it. Uh, he makes like 600K a year. I mean, he's a union leader, rep leader. He, he, he 600K a year. I mean, if you're fighting for your employees, cool. But to say he needs more money, I don't know. But if this goes on for a long time, this is definitely going to hurt the economy. You know they're going to play into the politics of this. They're going to blame the government. They're going to blame Biden. They're going to try to put pressure on whoever becomes the next president. That is going to happen no matter what. I want you guys to see how massive this strike is because, I mean, these ports are no, no game. It's so many containers, thousands and thousands of products that we need every day. All your Amazon orders, all, you know, your retail orders, they come from overseas. They're not coming from the States. So the ports are needed. You know, they're needed. Like, it, you can't even explain how much the ports are needed and these workers are needed to keep the country going. And what I also want to say is, if the truckers would do this, if truckers would do this, we would make a lot more money. If you didn't know, I'm a fuel hauler. But we would make a lot more money if we just set out, hell, two weeks. If we set out two weeks and do what they're doing and demand that a broker get the less percentage and we get more, oh, man, we'd be set for life, man. But take a look Take a look at this. Clock ran out last night at midnight, and now you have 
tens of thousands of dock workers on strike this just morning. Just here alone at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, they employ over 4,000 union members, and many of them on strike here this morning for the first time in 47 years after the union and the U.S. Maritime Alliance could not come up with a deal before midnight. Just to show you some over of what's going year. on around me, over here, over my right-hand shoulder, you have containers that are piled up. These are empty. No one, though, is going to be picking them up and loading them because of the members on strike behind me right here. You have a couple hundred of them out here since early this morning. Then if you take a look over my left-hand shoulder, those are the ports. Those are the docks. They are essentially closed. Nothing going in, nothing going out. I was on strike. Now, Kate, I'd be in bed. this all comes I down to money, wages, and job security. Many of the members behind me are holding signs saying just that. They want to make sure that they're getting paid appropriately Ooh, and they want to make sure is. their jobs are secure. Listen to the president of the ILA union just last month talking about what they're fighting for. You got to draw the line. These companies that work in the maritime business come from overseas. Not one of them belongs to America. They want to come into America and build fully automated terminals and get rid of American jobs. Good paying jobs that support families with medical, pensions, annuities, and pay taxes. They want to get rid of them. I mean, he got a point. He does have a point there. And USMX says that they've made an offer of up to 50% in wage increases over six years, as well as keeping language in the current contract that would help stop automation of jobs. But the union saying that is not enough. Now, in terms of this port, a lot of fruit and vegetables come into this port. You're talking about cherries, fresh fruit, chocolate, alcohol. Also going out, you have auto parts that are being shipped across seas. None of that happening right now. As for the Biden administration, they are monitoring this Told very, you, very it. closely. They say are they, in, they are in touch with both sides. One thing that business leaders around the country and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce is calling for is for President Biden to invoke the Taft-Hartley Act. That is a way that he could pretend, that the president could potentially stop this strike. However, President Biden says he is not looking to do that right now. And I actually agree with the president. I actually agree with the president. Listen, you got to let them do what's rightfully theirs to do. They have the right to strike. If you don't like your pay... You can strike for it. You can ask for a raise. If they say no, you can get another job or you can do exactly what they're doing right now. And I and I, I don't blame them. I mean, that's a hell of a raise. But if they feel that if they feel that that's their worth, who am I to say no? Let's see if there's been any updates today about this. We turn now to another breaking story overnight. At least 25,000 union dock workers in the eastern and southern U.S. have walked off the job after talks failed to reach a new contract. The strike threatens to disrupt the entire U.S. economy. Chris Van Cleve is here with the latest. Chris, good morning. Well, good morning. There was some progress late yesterday that may have brought the two sides closer to a deal after months of stalled talks, but not close enough to avoid the first strike of East Coast ports in 47 mm. years. It will impact nearly half of the nation's imports and more than two-thirds of containerized exports as dock workers strike at 14 ports spanning from Boston to Houston. For days leading up to the midnight deadline, crews were working virtually around the clock to move billions in cargo off ships and out of ports by truck and rail. Businesses have also been stocking up on additional inventory in anticipation of a strike. The International Longshoremen's Association, the union representing dock workers, is seeking higher pay and protections against automation replacing workers. According to one estimate, the strike could cost the economy up to $5 billion a day. And economists oh, wow. worry a long strike will disrupt the supply chain for everything from perishable foods to car parts and construction materials. The group representing shippers and ports says its current offer would mean a nearly 50 percent pay hike as well as improved health and retirement. The Longshoremen's Union says that offer is still far short of what its members are seeking. Just pay the people. It's five dollars. Just, just pay five billion dollars versus a five dollar raise. Just, just, just pay them. So you're gonna cost five billions? In, I, I don't get it now. I don't understand it. Why would you not do it? All right. This is, this is definitely a billionaire greed. I think it's weird coming from the union leader because I mean, every video you see of him, he has like thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of jewelry on. I mean, his glasses alone are probably like a thousand dollars. Um, 
But to the blue collar workers, they deserve a raise. The blue collar workers that's below the union leader, that's out there moving those containers, unloading things, loading trucks, having trucks go out. I just wish truckers would do the same. Go on strike. Stop America from moving. That's what they're about to do. And they're going to get what they want. Or they're going to get very close to it. But let me know your thoughts, man. Do you think Biden should do something? Do you think they have a right to go on strike? Should they be going on strike for this $5 raise over the next five years? Because basically that's what it adds up to when you do the math. I don't think it's going to affect the economy as bad as it would have if they were not prepared. But if they've been doing the talks for over a year, we might be all right for a good couple of weeks. But this goes into like a month, a couple of months long. We're about to see some craziness happen. Don't go out and rush like you did in COVID and go get all the toilet paper and all the food and all the water. Just people just stay calm. Retailers and businesses have known this for a while now. Let them do their thing, work a deal out. If this goes on about a good two weeks, three weeks, then start loading up on some stuff because it's about to get real. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you next video.